In 2008, scientists discovered a superbug bacteria that was resistant to a wide spectrum of antibiotics. They called it the New Delhi Metallo Beta Lactamase 1 or simply NDM1. Now, how did this bug come into existence? Well, for starters, the human body is filled with lots of bacteria. Some of them are good and help with useful stuff like digestion or fighting against infections, and some are bad and responsible for causing illnesses. And we treat these using antibiotics, and in doing so, sometimes end up using lesser or more dosage than required. This way, we destroy a lot of the bad bacteria, but some of them get left out and develop a resistance to the drugs that were meant to get rid of them. It's like evolution. The fittest of the microbes survive and pass on their genes to their spawn. This problem of antibiotic resistant bacteria has become very, very serious across the world. And according to a recent scientific study, this is nowhere as dark as it is in India. For instance, in the US, 200 people out of 100,000 end up dying from infections caused by antibiotic resistant bacteria. In India, that number is more than twice as much. And that's because the consumption of most antibiotics in our country is hardly regulated. They are readily available across the counter almost anywhere and are often taken in unnecessary dosages and situations. But the government and some activist organizations have been making attempts to make sure some medicines cannot be bought without proper prescription. However, what's also needed is some stringent action, making the easy dispensing of some drugs punishable. It's also important to turn our attention to the unregulated use of antibiotics for livestock, something that has remained within the fringes of unconcern till today.